So it's May 16th, 2024, and you're looking at rhododendron discolor. So this is a species from China. This plant was grown from seed back in the late 1970s. And um, I'm gonna back off a little bit so you get a sense of how big this plant is. And it was put in this garden back in the early, I'll say mid 1980s. So it stands about 16 feet high and probably 12 or 13 feet wide. I nestled it between these three sizable chestnut oaks and it, it just couldn't be more happy. I don't know if you can see this or not, but right there in the center of the screen is a bird's nest with a bird sitting on its eggs. I, I don't know the species of the bird right now because I never looked up closely. But anyway, it's found a happy home in this rhododendron discolor. So I'm gonna come back closer to these flowers, which are fragrant and pink in bud with that glowing yellow center. It's again too bad for those of you who watch this video, you couldn't experience the fragrance because it's just, it's just intoxicating. All right, come up a little bit. There's more blossoms. This is probably one of the best years for the rhododendrons in my collection. And we only went down to 15 degrees Fahrenheit this winter, so everything is blooming perfectly. Everything is blooming perfectly, especially the rhododendrons. So we're gonna come down here, right there, all right, over there, and we'll finish it up on these. Rhododendron discolor, blooming in mid-May, right? It's hard to stop because it's just so beautiful.